Hello and welcome. Today our guest is Neptunium, an average Joe with an unremarkable channel full of poorly designed experiments with boring narration and uninteresting content. So tell us, Neptunium, who is the Joe Blow behind a very common low view count YouTube channel? And how did this ordinary non-event get its starts? Well, I, um, I guess it all started when I was about uh, 11 years old. <coughs> Uh, I was I was a terrible student. No shit. Uh, and uh, my mom subscribed me to this uh, this kid's uh, journal, and uh, with the uh, with the objective to for me to improve on my uh, grammar and um, and uh, education in general. Long way away, and uh, I came across this uh, this article about uh, Voyage Two. Uh, getting closer to Neptune. Is that where the name came from? Well, partially, yes. How pathetic. Uh, well, anyway, I was, I was, I was fascinated. I was, I was blown out of my mind. It was, it was just. It, it, so I wanted to, uh, I wanted to learn more and more about <laughs> this, and uh, I got into astronomy. I, I joined the club. <laughs> I, uh, I learned about the Big Bang, <laughs> the galaxies and stars and planets and physics and Nerd. chemistry. I obtained a degree in uh, in chemistry, um, in radiation protection and sanitation. Um, I uh, I pursued a, a certificate in laboratory technique, and um, um, and I have a degree in uh, nuclear physics. Okay, okay. okay. And, uh, what about that corny channel of yours? Uh, that channel. Um, a few years ago, I I downloaded this uh, this free uh, video editing software. And I started messing with it, and and it was it was a lot of fun. So I thought, why not join the two uh, together? And, um, and that's what mm -hmm. I did. So I'm doing a lot of uh, video editing, and after recording the science experiment, I do it. This is a, a, a fine hobby to me. Well, I think that wraps I it up. I do this for fun. I used to think I was a weirdo, completely isolated. I knew nobody with similar interest, until the internet came about. And I was pleasantly surprised to find out a lot of people, a lot of other people with similar interests, and a lot, a large community of um, uh, science enthusiasts who are able and willing to experiment and tinker with with uh, things. Well, it's not like any of you is going to make any breakthrough. So with that, we'll see. The days of uh, scientists making important discovery may not be completely over. Thunderfoot and Nerd Rage, for example have made significant contribution to our understanding of chemistry. Curiosity is part of being human. Science is the key of understanding the world around us. Everything is connected, so knowledge, education, skepticism are the best tools for a healthy mind and a free society. And if we can do it all and still have a good laugh, I think it's a win-win for everybody. I don't know. What do you think?